so today's physics test many students told me that problem number 15 uh, was somewhat difficult so I'm gonna go over problem number 15 so problem 15 uh, I gave you three charges Q1 I gave you seven microcoulomb and uh, 0.3 meter away I gave you Q2 which is negative 5 microcoulomb and 0.4 meter away, above I gave you um, point P at point P there is another charge 2 times 10 raised to negative 8 uh, coulomb okay uh, so uh, this is basically what I gave you now you need to find few things you need to find angle and you need to find the hypotenuse what is hypotenuse a square plus b square equal to c square so this is the hypotenuse so this is the hypotenuse so a square plus b square equal to c square so that must be 0 0.5 so this is 0 0.5 okay now you can use soka toa soka or toa all gonna give you the same thing so let's use so all right so sine theta is equal to opposite of our hypotenuse so theta is equal to sine inverse opposite is 4 and hypotenuse is 0.5 so it's 53.1 so the angle is 53.1 okay good now what do you want to have to find you want to have to find the electric field right here electric field right here so our main goal is to find the electric force right here the electric force right here electric force the direction of the electric force we already know the direction of electric force would be this but we want to find the size size of the electric uh, electric force right over here so we're going to take the electric field approach okay so electric field you can take the electric force approach uh, probably i'm going to show you tomorrow how to solve it different way but today we're going to take the electric field approach e1 is equal to k uh, q1 over r is square times 10 raised to 9 and uh, q would be uh, 7 times 10 raised to negative 6 okay uh, and r square would be 0 0.16 so this is 393000 zero, 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 newton over coulomb all right now e2 let's find the e2 using the different color so e2 would be uh, k q2 over r square so k would be um, 9 times 10 raised to 9 q2 would be we're going to take the absolute value so q2 would be 5 times 10 raised to negative 6 and divide by 0.25 why because 0.5 is squared is 0.25 is going to give you 180000 newton over coulomb okay now uh, so we have what we have over here is uh, you have to understand this language so this is positive this is positive they repel okay so they, rep they repel so the q1 the q1 would be repulsive so this one is repulsive so the repulsive means this one this is repulsive so i'm going to draw it right here so this is repulsive uh, this one and this one it would be of course attractive because this is positive and this is of course negative so this is attractive so this would be this direction this would be this direction this direction okay so this direction all right so now what do we know about this one this is three nine this is uh, of course this is of course one eight zero 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 and this is uh three nine three nine three zero 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 this one is just the y and but this one has two component x and y so uh, how can i find it so this times cosine uh, 53.1 give you the x and this one times sine 53.1 give you the y 
So, the x would be 1081439443. Excellent. Okay, good. So, now this is this is 108075 and this is this is um, let let me let me let me make it thick so this is um 143943 so that means that this one is right here so red minus this would be how much would be this 393000 minus 143943490057 okay great so now we have this red we have the we have this red this red and we have um, this blue we have this blue so we can find definitely we can find the green now all right so the red is how much uh, red is two two four nine zero five seven two four nine zero five seven and what is the green uh, what is the what is the blue the blue is of course one zero eight zero seven five the green we're going to use the pythagorean theorem to find the green so one zero Eight zero seven five square plus two four nine zero five seven square two seven one four nine five. Uh, this is Newton Coulomb. So uh, that would be the electric field. Let's call this one electric field. This one electric field, and the electric field direction is this, and the size is this. So two four two seven two seven one. We want to find the electric force over here. So let's find the electric force. So electric force is what do we know about electric force? Electric force is electric field times Q. So electric field is two seven one four nine five times Q is two times ten raised to negative eight. Five point four two times ten raised to negative 3 newton and the direction would uh, of the electric force would be same okay so the direction of the electric force would also be the same so this is problem 15 if you have any questions of course you uh, you write the comment in the comment box below